Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Von KJB and I'm back with Sly Cooper 2, Band of Thieves. We're currently attempting to take down Dimitri and I'm happy to be back. I'm feeling a lot better. Let's get it going. No. No, don't don't turn around. Come on, man. I just started this video. One reason I love this game is, I mean, just look at it. Look how crisp the controls are. I could talk about how crisp these controls are all day. I mean, compared to all the other Sly Cooper games, this is the most crisp. That was the thing that was wrong with Thieves in Time. It was a fantastic game. The problem is the controls sucked. But this game... Ugh, so crisp. So very crisp. Should be illegal how crisp these controls are. No, 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 no. Just... Come here, come here. Just pick that key off you. I'm guessing you won't be needing that. Samurai? Oh crap! What? <laughs> Go hardcore! Extreme! All over his face! <laughs> Okay, and another thing, uh, in case I haven't already, oops, I would like to apologize for the audio of my microphone in my previous video, in fact, videos, because I know it's been pretty bad, and like I said, I've just been starting off, so, you know, I sort of know what I'm doing, but I don't know what I'm doing, if that makes sense. Like, I know very little about editing, I know very little about making a professional gameplay video, and I realize I should make it as good as possible before I put it up, but the main thing I'm concerned now with is just putting up content. Because right now, I have no views and no subscribers, and, well, I have a couple of them, but they're just friends. They really just subscribe to help me out. While I appreciate that, no, no, I'd rather have none. But my, my main point is, you know, like, I may not grow subscriber number one, but I should be trying, you know. I really should be, and I will in the future. Just like right now, I'm hoping that my voice isn't overblowing the microphone and too loud in your ear. But enough about that. Trying to rob this theater here of... I have no idea why we're here. Why are we here again? We're picking pockets. To... Wait a minute. I think I remember what we're supposed to do. Okay, okay. We need control of that headlamp up there. Why do you two have to be walking so close? Somebody walk beyond somebody. I mean... You, you stop and take a breather or something. So, how am I supposed to get to him and you're in the way? Because if I take you out, he's gonna hear it. I guess I have no choice. These are interesting looking books. I love the Feral Pounce. It is my favorite move in the entire series. There we go. Nice work, Sly. Now head for the control panel to slow down the fan. Making me look bad. I don't 
don't need it. Alright, head for where? I love this feral pounce. Ah, oh, so crisp. My main question would be, why did it take six keys in order to slow down the fans? Were they expecting somebody to do what we're about to do right now? I'm overriding the spotlight security guns. That should do it. No more security in the printing press room. Right on. Job completed by Sly, and we're moving on. Oh. Okay, fellas. The dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Sweet. Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Sly. You'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in Grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here! Alright, well that plan doesn't sound dangerous at all. So who's first again? Is it... Bentley? Would I be right? I am right. Okay, so I wasn't doing much talking in the last episode, but like I said before, I had skipped forward to episode 8. I had gotten all the upgrades, so I'd be able to play through the entire game with all the powers. And there are two things that you have to play with with Bentley. You just have to do it. <clears throat> the hover pack, and of course, the ever so popular adrenaline burst. Purely because it's funny as hell to watch him run like that. Okay, let's go. Um, let's get to that water tower. Yes, let's. Try to keep up, Murray. How did he... Never mind. Alright, I got a plan. I'm gonna hit him, and then he's gonna run over here, hit me, and then you hit him. Well, you skipped the him hitting me part, but alright. Screw that. I'm a professional, Murray. You're gonna have to blast your way in. I lie in no man's arms. Okay, pause on that whole thing. I need to focus. Which valves do I turn to divert water pressure from the plaza? To change the flow of water through a valve, I should press the circle button. Okay. Yeah, pause on that last comment. I don't know why I said that. Okay, this isn't going very well. Okay, I'm starting to see things moving. Why isn't this one moving? Is this one moving? And this one looks like it's moving too. Success! Um, okay. The water pressure to the fountain should be disabled. It's off all right. They're already sending out the repair guy to fix it up. Take lock and the keys to his repair truck without being seen. Uh, 
That's right. Y'all just walk off and forget your duties. Alright, you're all by yourself. There's nothing you can do now. It's just all over for you. Three. Two. Well, I expected to take more. Two, one. Alright, he's done. <clears throat> Alright. All jokes and weird comments aside, having a good time. But, I need to feed my, uh, my addiction for coins. So, you know, Felix, just excuse me for just a minute. Alright, I'm done. Got my fix. No, I haven't. I need more. Okay, okay, okay. I'm done. Crisp. It's all you. Let's head out for the repair truck. That was some weird running, Murray. Cause he wasn't running like that. It's like he was. It's like he was sneaking. Was sneaking really, really quickly. He was. It was very strange to look at. Just bypass him. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick shift. I need to get in position on top of the nightclub's peacock sign for phase three. I'm more interested in how Murray's gonna fit into that uh that little ass truck. That's what I'm more interested in. I don't know about you, Sly. Okay, I can make that jump. Sure about it. Yeah, I got it. Nice driving. I was never good at this. All right. Son, pull away. Fly. The guards are on to us. Protect the truck. Uh oh. Oh come on! I did my special move. Huh? That quick? Okay, okay. I'm in position. Right. We're just driving up right now. Get ready to grab the tow harpoon. All right, really, really high. All right. Let's see. Pull away. Got it. Take that. A little bit of that. And that. And that. Oh, crap. What are you doing back here? What? Get out of here. Oh, I didn't even see him coming. Everybody get out of here. Ouch. Okay. Man, get away from this truck. Get out of here. How many of them are there? Okay. Majesty of gravity and inertia. That was real subtle, Bentley. Okay, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we're out of here. Checkpoint. God. 
Oh, raccoon let's do this. You're like totally bumming my house up and bringing me down. So very uncool. Why can't you let birds and bees be free, bro? Listen, Dimitri. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. No, bro. I see that you are a tough cowboy. A man with taste, style, vision, a connoisseur of finer things. Like me. Look, I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah? We smooth. Yeah? Look, receive the money. You like the money. You can take all you want. I can. No deal. You and the rest of the claw gang have to be stopped. Clockwork will never again see the light of day. Just hand over the tail feathers and we can... What is this with clocks, bro? Have you no vision? Are you hearing what I mean to you? You think you have juice? Don't show me a little mind when talking about such big things. You think you can swing the bat? Show your bling and let me shine you. I have <laughs> no idea what you're saying. And your suit sucks. <laughs> Let's dance! <laughs> Okay, alright. I'm sorry, I, I love hearing Dimitri talk, bruh. He's like the, <laughs> the funniest dude in the world. Like, show your bling and let me shine you! Aw, oh, you son of a- I think I was being nice. I could really use my slow motion. I don't know. I feel it enhances the experience. You tell me. What? How did I get hit? Wait a minute. You see, wait, he, he did no counterattack. No, 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 no. Something's wrong here. Whoa. Yeah, that's possible. Just getting ready to jump on top of that. The glass! The glass! Not one of these. I'm not that stupid. Gotcha. What what, what is he doing? Get out of here. And my counterfeit in operation. It's past tense. Doing you a favor. What kind of thief prints money? There's no honor in that. You <laughs> cracker box. <laughs> Job completed. Heist hey. over. My gang and I had done it. The clockwork tail feathers were ours, and Dimitri's counterfeiting operation was ruined. Due to the untimely arrival of Carmelita, my escape got a little tricky. Angry at having just missed me, she took it out on Dimitri. Shutting down the nightclub and throwing the frustrated forger behind bars. Aw, oh, cigarettes all broken and everything. The gang and I headed out of town for a week in Monaco. I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. 
A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills, and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased Ancestral Palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the Clockwork Wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige. And maybe they will. But they're also bringing me. Sly Cooper and the gang in... A starry-eyed encounter. So if the wings were stolen, wouldn't it be stupid of him to put them on display? I'm just saying, I mean, doesn't that make sense? Isn't that logical? Got it. Yeah. I knew he was gonna pop up. I knew he was. Get Alright, I didn't know about that one, but whatever. Okay, where am I going? Over there? No. Helicopter. That was absolutely pointless. Moving on. Say good night. Oh, here we go. Really? The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Okay, what what was that? Come on. There we go. And presto. Got it. Yeah, he's showing off the wings, but give me a break. I mean, doesn't that confirm that you're in the Claw Gang, or at least in whoever's gang that stole them? Wings have been welded onto that statue. I mean, Carmelita doesn't know. They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. An electronic witch! That could be useful! Yeah, I'm trying to be more careful. I don't want to over, you know, overshoot the camera, but... Oh, there he is. That's him. Rajat's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should get some shots of the guests. Yeah, interesting guests. They all look exactly the same. They're all chewing on twigs or got those long cigarettes that Cruella de Vil used to smoke. Another Claw Gang member. Our arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Hmm. Jean Bisson, 
a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. A high-ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. The imagery of her just reeks of evil, by the way. Carmelita's here too. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. I mean, the evidence is right in front of you. Well, where's the last one? Where's, uh, Neela? Oh, there she is. Neela, another officer undercover. Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. And that's all the photos I need. Bring them back to the safe house, and we'll start building a game plan. <laughs> Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments. But he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. All right, shall we? Guy. Okay. I wonder if I can just... Yeah, that's a lot faster. Alright, where am I going? Over there, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost made the same mistake again. There's nothing up there. For the dance. Oh. Sorry, sir, but we have a dress code. You got a tuxedo? Uh, no. Sorry, pal. No tux, no entry. Where's his face? Sorry, Sly. Somehow I totally overlooked the need for formal wear. Well, that guy's not going to let you in without a tuxedo. Don't beat yourself up, Bentley. At a party this ritzy, there has to be a spare penguin suit around here somewhere. Try the guest house. Someone may have overpacked. <laughs> overpacked for a single night? Were they expecting to spill something on their outfit? I wonder what you got. I'll just take that. Ah, oh, silver ring. You suck. Bye bye. No, no, addiction to coins. Okay, all right, addiction over. For now. No, whoa, whoa. Two of them? Crisis averted. And now we move on. Okay, Bentley. I'm in position inside the guest house. Have any intel for me? Uh, well, I recommend 
said searching all the rooms, it's statistically probable that each should hold at least one portion of a tuxedo. Of course, Ben. Inside the rooms. This isn't an exact science. Ransack the place until you find part of a tuxedo. Any plan which involves ransacking is okay with me. It would be sly. It just would be. Attention, guards. This is Lord Rajan. The party here is in full swing, and all visitors are now in the ballroom. Now, why this ballroom is on the upper up? Not all of the guests are. So be on careful lookout for prowlers. I don't want any bad press from this event. Kind of advertising bad press by advertising those clockwork wings of yours. Alright, I don't see how I'm supposed to ransack this room without alerting them. So I guess I should just take out the big guard first and then worry about the other two. Right? I've got an idea though. Use it! Use it! Alright, I guess I'll just have to take him out. I was gonna try and use my, uh, my smoke screen. Oh, for a second I thought I was still in trouble. I was gonna try and use my smoke screen. And then, uh, stealthily take them all out one by one. Less risk to my health. But, as you can see, I didn't have enough power. At least I found a pair of gloves. And they will magically fit, I am sure. Oh, what, what? Okay, okay. Aw, oh, that sucks. Where's my exit route? I can't believe I'm having this much trouble with just one guard. This is just getting ridiculous at this point. Sorry, I gotta do this. Yes. This is the way to play this game. Bentley, why wouldn't you tell me this in the room that had the big guard and then- Oh, shit. Oh. You don't see me. Okay, you do see me. Sorry, I got a little trigger happy there. Whatever. Shut up. Oh, oh, I forgot. Okay, we can move on now. Shut up. Spending so much time playing around, I'm not paying attention. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's just take him. Alright, come on. Everybody join the party. What is that thing? Look at this thing. What 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 is this? Looks like some Batman would use. What what? <laughs> okay, okay. 
another piece of clothing that will easily fit him even though most of the guests I saw were pretty much overweight top hat wears oh come on man give me a break get, get out of here did I check this room? this is Rajad's room stay sharp he's probably got extra security yeah no doubt This TV would be completely useless nowadays. You'd have replaced it with a giant, super thin HD TV. I'll just help him out. Oh, wait, wait. The speakers wouldn't be useless, just the TV. Um. Um. Listen, I can't pay for it now, but I can put something on it. I mean, that. that I can put something on it. Kind of broke right now. Oh, I see. What do you got in your pockets there? Oh my god, you're all broke. Was he paying you minimum wage? Those are Rajans? He's got small feet. Okay, check that room, check that room, check that picture, uh, let's see, let's see. Okay, it's this guard again. Is there any way around? Room number 105, shall we? Three, two, one. How does he see me? The flashlight never flashed on me. It was a stealth kill. It's about to say, man. Feed the addiction. All right, I'm guessing in here. Tuxedo jacket. That's it. Now that you've got a complete tuxedo, the doorbell will let you into the ballroom. Weird how there's no guest list. He's just letting anybody in. No wonder there's, you know, cops everywhere. You're just letting anybody in the door. Weird though. All three of them were women. Maybe too many men at the party? Needed a few women to spice things up? Carmelita and Neela I can understand, but the Contessa, really? I mean, I'm pretty sure the way she spices things up is not the way people want things spiced up. I mean, there's a difference between jalapenos and ghost peppers, you know what I'm saying? Don't worry, I don't expect you know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about myself. Oh crap! You got your tuxedo now, sir? Yes. Of course I do. I'm here to dance. Then come on in. Because everyone knows that a tuxedo is required for dancing. Your tuxedo disguise is working perfectly. No it one is. will recognize you in that outfit. Now, during the heist, you'll need to dance with Carmelita to keep both her and the crowd distracted. Why are all the, the guests black? The problem is, she's picky about dance partners. 
so you'll need to impress her first. I don't I mean I just the girl for the job. I don't mean like black skin. I mean black as in they're pitch black. You look lovely this evening. Look at them. Do I know you? I used to chase after you back in Paris. Paris? Sly Cooper? You aren't by any chance here to turn yourself in. Old Ironsides would fall out of her dress. As good as that sounds, how about a dance first? Hey, no okay. sexual innuendo. Try to memorize the steps. Now your turn. Alright. Triangle. 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 Simple enough. Wait, 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 wait. Triangle. Was it X? O. Triangle. O. O. Triangle. O. Shut up. This helps me remember. Need to get at old iron sides. Yes, I am. Do you mind? Not at all. X. Triangle. Triangle. X. Triangle. O triangle X O triangle X Damn near push wrong button Triangle triangle square Triangle triangle square X triangle X X triangle X Don't mess up That fellow is very graceful If only you moved spice shipments as well Silence <laughs> XX triangle O XX triangle O Go O X triangle Triangle O X triangle Nice Triangle O triangle Triangle O triangle You know the messed up part about this whole thing you can't even watch the dance Wait 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 I almost missed the buttons. Triangle square. Oh, triangle square. Thank you. That was delightful. Thank you, Constable Neela. After all, it takes two to tango. Yes, and three is always a crowd. Neela, your friend here is quite an accomplished dancer. I tried to make him look good. Please. Oh, Neva. whatever. His skills far surpass you. Perhaps later you and I might share a dance, Miss... Miss Fox. Carmelita Fox. And I accept. Yes, job completed. Okay, so the next job... Oh, belongs to Sly. I thought I heard something about Murray. Oh, wait, no, I have to let him in the door. Right, right, right. Alright, should be easy enough. Just gotta get up there. Too, pal, but the winch is all locked down. You know where I can find the keys? E guards have recently taken up positions around the palace. Sneak in, pick all of their pockets, and bring the keys back to the lockdown winch. All right, I'm on it. What was that? Ah, there was nothing. Just two days from retirement. <laughs> Not anymore. Just three days from retirement. Wait a minute, I've been seen? Well, that's what I get for playing around too much. 
Alright, where's first guard? Steady. Steady. Gotcha. Good night. Okay, okay. Where are you? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was a sliding ability. Whoa, whoa. You're just gonna keep heading this way, aren't you? Okay, that's fine. Wonder how my brothers are doing. We're all so very close to retirement. Oh, oh, he's not even the guard. Great. Well, where is he? Oh, come on. Just let me take it. I won't get hit. I promise. Alright. Fine. Oh, okay. Here it is. Oh, there he is. Bye bye. All right, dude. How much money do you have? Oh! It wasn't my fault. I have to move away from the door, otherwise. Oh, forget it. All right, fine. You want to go? Let's go. No, no, this fight isn't over. Okay, obviously the fight really isn't over. Yeah, that's what happens when you mess with me. Oh, crap! Alright, I gotta go, fellas. I can't play anymore. Where's the next key? You know, I play around too much, but, you know, I'm having fun. It's been a while since I've played these games. I admit, it hasn't been as long for this game as it has been for, uh... Sly 1, Beavis Raccoonus. But, hey, whatever. Oh, just as I drop down, really? Must have been two days from retirement. Oh, come on, man. You don't see me anymore. What is that? What? Get, stop, stop throwing rocks at me. All right, this is a disaster. All right, come get me. Now he wants to pretend like he doesn't see me anymore. Get out of here. Um. All right. I can do this. I can do this, no problem. I'll figure this out. Just give me a second to get on this rope. Survey the area. I already see my way. Voila. You gotta love the feral pounce, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye. It is taking me forever to collect five keys. Alright, I'm gonna speed it up. No more playing around. No more jokes. No more nothing. Serious game time. It's time to be the best in the world. You can use noise to lure this guard from his post. Shut up, Bentley. Try ringing that gog and I know what I'm doing, Bentley. Yeah, but I didn't know about that skill.
Where's the next key? Got it. Good night. Oh, come on. How did you hear that? It was a stealth kill. Whatever. One, two, three, and... Don't mess up my counts. Five keys. Aw, oh, come on! I know there's one here. Alright, maybe not. The one time I'm completely sure of it, and it's not there. Alright, where are the keys? Alright, or locks. What happened to throwing the keys in the lock, Sly? done here? Any more jobs for Sly? Nope. But I do see a job for Murray. can hear every last one of his footsteps. They really are thundering. Bye bye. Alright, where am I going? How did I run right past? Okay, never mind. and guns and stuff. Now yeah. be a team player and take it out with that rusty pre-war turret. Wait, hey, what? I had a potato gun once. I bet it works just the same. I have nothing to say about that. Hit buttons fast to keep your strength up. Making me hit buttons and stuff. What? I hit buttons. What? What? I've been hitting them. I hate button tappers and ruin controllers. I hate turret parts too. Yeah, no, no fooling. I'm trying not to curse in my videos so much. I am never using that word again. Screw that word. No, 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 no. So worried about the missiles, I'm barely able to get off a shot at the chopper here. Come on, Damn it, go away. No, no, don't curse. Ah, worried about cursing. Worried about missiles. Worried about helicopters. Worried about Murray's potato gun and its condition nowadays. Stop! Stop! Stop turning. All right, this is going great. I'm doing really good. Okay, okay. You go down. You go down. You go down. You go down. Oh, crap. 
Oh my god. Well, that was lucky. Come on. Maybe I should just go for the helicopter now. Un untouchable, ladies and gentlemen. Untouchable. Job well completed. Thank you very much. All right, boys, we're ready for the next phase. My plan to get at the clockwork wings requires the use of the electric winch above the ballroom. Okay. To get control over the device, I'll need to hack the computers in Rajad's boardroom. Plus, we'll need an extra strong saw blade to cut the wings off the statue. Got it. To make a saw blade that durable, I'll need Sly to steal the gems off the headdresses on Rajan's prize elephants. Reasonable. And finally, I'll take to the field with my remote control helicopter and nullify the palace's surface-to-air defenses. That should clear things up for the heights. I don't like your plans, Bentley. I don't care how efficient they are. They always involve the most ridiculous things in the world. I was with you until you said helicopter. I hate that helicopter. Alright. We got two missions for Sly. I just have the worst luck in the world, don't I? I, mean, I just got up here and you already see me? Don't throw those Batman things at me. Look, look what you did to your partner. And he was only two days away from retirement. For real though, all y'all look old as hell though. Don't curse. Control your language the way that you control Sly in an expert and professional fashion. What? What? Just got over here. Give me a break. Come here. He got what he wanted in the end. Death. Okay, you explain what just happened to me. Sly, we need to find a way to get Rajad's prize elephants out of their pen. Okay. Oh, Bentley, that door looks pretty heavy. Maybe I can crawl on that hole under the steps and find an alternate route. Oh, well, now y'all not running away from me. You just scared went up and freaked out the prize elephants. They're now outside, rampaging around the palace. Wow, he sure looks spooked. Yeah, they well do. Done, Sly. Now comes the hard part. I need you to snatch the headdress jewels worn by both elephants. The jewels are firmly embedded, so keep whacking at them with your cane to knock one loose. I need to make use of the rooftops to get to one of the elephants' backs, but it shouldn't be a problem. Not with Feral Pounce it shouldn't be. Alright then. Aw, oh, come on, man. I was a little late on the jump. Alright, uh, hold on. Damn it! Ah, stop cursing! Hold on, hold on, I can do it! Ah, oh, so close! Ah, oh, but the controls are so crisp! Ah, oh, what, 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 what is this? Gotcha! You're not getting away. Jump over that elephant truck if he tries to swat you off his back. Oh, 
Alright, that didn't go so well. Uh, I don't understand what's he so angry about anyway. I'm just trying to, you know, lighten the load, man. I'm trying to make your life easier. Come on, Sly. Don't let me down now. Come on. Come on. I just... I just can't do this. I... I... Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can do this. I can do this. Where's he going? He's going around. Okay. And there we go. Whoa. Nice try. See, isn't that better? No, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to touch you. I know you don't like being touched. Okay. Whoa. Nope. You missed. Why did I jump up there? I am the worst gamer in the world. No, 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 no. I'm the best in the world. There is no one better than me. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Cool. Be cool. Come on. There we go. Whoa. Nope. Holy crap, I thought he hit me for a second. Or she hit me. You never know. I'm not really willing to check to see which gender. Get out of here. Out of my way. Come on. Come on. Score. Whoa. Oh, thank God this whole ordeal is over. Okay. Let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna need to end this video here because I'm about an hour in. Just about, if not over. I have a little bit of editing to do. That might cut the time down just a little bit. But, doesn't matter. This video is over, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you very much for joining me. See me again in Sly 2 Band of Thieves Part 3. You know, Von KJB's Revenge or something. I, I don't know, but I, I'll see you in Part 3. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you later.